for parents uh, who have an LGBTQ youth who comes out to them, one of the biggest things that they can do is find ways to accept and support them. Uh, we know from research that youth who come from highly rejecting families are up to eight times more likely to attempt suicide. Um, and I think when parents think about their children, the scariest thing that could happen would be something like a child who would attempt suicide or die by suicide. And so for parents to have the knowledge that um, even if your initial reaction is fear or concern that the best thing that you can do is to learn how to support your child and to provide them with acceptance and love. And that by doing that, you are essentially working to reduce the risk that they'll have um, experiences of thoughts of suicide, uh, depression, and that what you're in fact doing is promoting the well being of your youth. So, one way that a parent could show acceptance, um, let's say a parent has a child who uh, tells them that they are transgender or non-binary and they have pronouns that they would prefer to be used. And so those are their pronouns. And they have a name that's different than perhaps the name they were assigned at birth. A parent who is able to follow their child's lead, use that same language, use those pronouns, use that name is going to help that child feel accepted. Another example could be a parent whose child comes out to them um, as gay or lesbian or bisexual. That parent can show support for their child by saying things like, oh, um, I know that there's this local group, PFLAG, I might go to a meeting, or I'm thinking about going to the local pride events, um, asking their child how they're doing, providing support, but just ways that they can vocalize to their child I love you, I accept you, which is another simple way to do it, which is for a parent's first response when a child comes out to say, I love you and I accept you. We can, as parents, come together and support our children. We can, at schools, make sure that LGBTQ youth feel included and are protected from bullying. We can, as a society, make sure that we have policies and regulations that support LGBTQ individuals. And so there are ways that we can deal with this risk um, because it's not something about being LGBTQ that increases risk for suicide attempts. It's something about the way LGBTQ youth are treated and we can change that.